guys, Justin and Stephanie here. We are at Blue Hoss. Come on in. Oh my. Get some work done. <laughs> it is named that because it was owned by Germans. Fun fact, I have a German maiden last name. It is, I don't know how to pronounce it in German, so Vich. I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, I think it's like Vich. Oh, babe, I have an idea. As you can tell, this is not a busted crib. It is completely move-in ready, or it did when we bought it. Maybe, maybe. We're gonna see. We are in St. Pete. Cute little house, checking it out. Oh, nice floors. Okay, so this isn't so busted. This is not busted at all. I told you in the pictures this is crazy. Even the doors are not bad, Justin. Oh my goodness, I love this door. I love this door. Hey, can we put master suite here inside and then make this closet and then master bath like right out here? This is a good size. I really love this house. All right, so that little blue house. I like it. I like it a lot. So I think that's a winner all day. It was, like what it. was the price point? 175. 175. And uh, there was like five or six people trying to bid on it. I wanted it, yeah. And we came in at 185. Which is a little bit higher than what we normally buy them at. But the thing is, is that this neighborhood, the bedrooms I think... don't need any work. That bathroom just needs to be reconfigured. Our main cost is gonna be just reframing, which we gotta frame out here anyway. Yeah. So I think it's great. Cheap, cheap flip. We already got work started on it and we've only had it for a couple of days, so. We're shooting for 45 to 60 day turnaround. It's a 2-1, about 870 square feet. By the time we're done adding on the master suite, the master bathroom, the closet, and then we're even gonna get like this little office entryway here. Yeah, like a We're gonna be close to almost 1,300 square feet. All right, we're in the kitchen. We enter into the little, it's kind of small living room. This whole wall's coming down, it was brick. Um, similar to what you see up here. Oh, it was fake brick? Like here. Yeah. Oh, how funny is this fake brick? I thought it was real brick. You want to go over the kitchen layout real quick? Because yeah. I know, yep. I think we're using... So the fridge is going to go in this back area. And then we're going to have the stove um, in this area as well. So we're going to do our normal um, microwave, stove, fridge, um, and then just cabinetry. And then we're going to do the sink centered here. The square footage wasn't there. And like we love, it has a garage out the back, which we can make into a master suite. All right, so we are in what used to be this like weird little lean-to. What, well, you can this? what see was it. this? It had a metal pan roof on it that somebody made in closed space. It was so hot out here, it was horrible. So we decided to just, let's rip this off. Let's pour the slab up. This used to be two steps, like Stephanie was saying. Now we've just got the one step down here. The new entrance from the backyard is gonna be right here. So you'll really walk into this little office space. Again, this will be gone. So they can use this as mudroom, office space, whatever they want. All right, so this is the master suite. This is gonna get closed off. Your new entrance is gonna be over here. It's gonna be this cool little um, pathway. So you'll have this cute little entryway. You'll step down six inches and into your master suite. Is that ammonia? Is that a, it has like an ammonia smell. It's a good, I smell profit. Oh, Justin! Oh, Chris. Shh, don't tell him. I'm only two cups of coffee in too. Wait till three or four, I might get arrested. This is um, gonna be a 24 inch vanity. I'm gonna take this whole thing out and kind of put your vanity in there and I'm gonna swing the door out so it doesn't make this feel any more cramped than it already is. Um, so it'll have this little vanity and then your tub, shower, will go here and then the toilet is gonna stay in the same spot. So it's a really tiny bathroom. As you can see, I can literally kind of stretch my arms and both ways and touch the side and I'm pretty, pretty short. So we have the two bedrooms here. We're not gonna be doing very much with them. They've already got new windows. We'll do new floor coverings, paint them, new doors for the closet and that's about it. Again, we're 870 square feet. It's a two one. By the time we're done, 1300, three two. Beautiful area, North yeah. St. Pete. What are we gonna get for it? I think this one's probably gonna go for closer to 350. You might even get a bidding war here because of the neighborhood it's in. The nicer schools are here too. Yeah. So you might even get a bidding war, so. Cool.
I did something really stupid, like a rookie mistake. My friend's mom was selling some stainless steel appliances, brand new, out of the box. Um, she just didn't like the style in her, pre in her kitchen, so she bought all new stuff. And so we bought it from her for $1,000, the whole set, and we had it delivered here to Blue Hoss. I had forgotten that we had it delivered here, and so my project manager kept asking me, what do you want me to do with these appliances, the old appliances? And I said, because they had old appliances, they were white, and I was like, the white ones, just do whatever you want with them. You can take them, you can sell them, I don't really care what we do with them. And so he's like, no, one of them was stainless steel. Like there was like a stainless appliance for the stove. And I was like, oh, well, that's okay. We bought a whole new set. So just take it or do whatever you want with it. I didn't know he was talking about my brand new set. So I have to buy a whole new stainless steel appliance set because I'm stupid. Normally Justin's the one who does these mistakes. I feel so dumb. He's loading up my wild tile that I'm actually a little bit nervous about. We're trying something new. I'm scared, but I am gonna go bold on this one. We're gonna see how it goes. Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Okay, this turned out so good. Oh my gosh, so we painted Blue Hoss and it is gorgeous with the cedar accents. So I tried something new and creative. I thought that a mustard door would complement this beautiful, oh man, the colors just aren't showing up on the camera. But um, I thought it would complement this blue really well, which it does, but I think it's a little too bold. They didn't have the color I wanted for yellow for the door, so. I have our good friend at the paint department at Lowe's mixing some colors for me. <laughs> oh, nacho cheese. <laughs> oh yes, that's beautiful. It looks the same to me. So I frequently make mistakes and my yellow looks god awful. I think I'm gonna end up painting it this teal color instead. I'll do that. It's the same color as the bathroom tile. I made a mistake. You wanna see it? Nacho color. Nacho cheese. It's so bad. On the, you know, on the camera, it doesn't look that bad. No, no, it's different. Oh man, guys, I was going for like oh, a mustard golden I yellow. Look at that yellow, oh, my God. I, 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 wow. Do you like that color out here? Let's get it on video. Do you like that color? Do you like that color out there, the yellow? The yellow, no. No, <laughs> you told me yes. Fence is in at Blue House. Check out the backyard, sod got delivered. Fence installed. Hey. So a lot has been done at Blue House. We are, how many weeks in? Gosh, maybe four or five weeks four in. Four weeks we in. two to go. So we have completely cranking. emptied out the entire thing. This was supposed to be a lipstick flip. Lipstick flips to us are not just like, oh, put some paint on it and call it a day. Lipstick flips to us are more like, um, let's get the entire thing, rework the floor plan. <laughs> Electrical plumbing, HVAC. <laughs> oh, painted the I sound. painted like that. Out the bit to get inside. So I painted yeah. the house this really cool, like peacock, dusty, dark blue. It kind of looks similar awesome. to what we had, but a darker, more richer, more beautiful version of it. And so then we got these little um, cove ceilings and we were walking the property like two days ago. We were talking to the painter about what we wanted to do. And I saw this really cool opportunity to do my dark ceiling that I've always wanted to do. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. I'm really excited to look at it. Uh, the painter didn't like it, but I mean, they don't like a lot of my choices, they, so. They, they don't, and then they sell in like 24 hours and we're like, <laughs> who cares what the painter thinks? I wanted to go a little crazy, so. My goodness. Yeah, I like that a lot. It's really good. What are you talking about? I like it a lot. Oh, my goodness. We are at Blue Haas and the yellow wall has been fixed. <laughs> this kitchen looks so good. Here's the new appliances. Ooh, just a sneak peek, just a sneak peek. All right, I'm adding the final touches to my art piece. I'm not sure if I love it or hate it, so we will see how it goes. <laughs> I'm scared.
All right, let's go in. So Blue Haas, we are here, we are finished. It was such a quick flip. This fell into our lap and we got it done in six weeks. We want to bring breathe life back into these houses. This one was not busted. It was no, so pretty. Nice. It was honestly really nice and someone could have easily come in, but it was a two one and like always, like two ones, like what was it, 900 square feet? 871. Yeah, 871 close. square feet. And it just doesn't really work for a family and people don't want a two one, they want a three two. So we added that garage, we added um, the breezeway and what was that thing? It was technically like a porch, right? It enclosed, yeah, enclosed porch. Somebody enclosed it illegally. It was really, really hot out there and it just wasn't functional for being interior square footage. Yeah, and actually you can still see, we, we reframed it and re-roofed it but it's a flat roof on the back. So if you see like an angle that back there in the breezeway area, it's because it's a flat roof and we wanted to keep as much height as possible. So we did, you know, the insulation just like just barely there and made and it has an angle. In Gives the it character. So I cannot wait to show you the rest of this house. So we did a little something a little bit unique with the blue cabinets. It was a smaller um, space, so I decided to go. I decided to go with darker lowers to make it, you know, ground it a little bit, ground the space. And we did white uppers with gold accents. And I found I like this it. tile marked down at Lowe's that has this like gold flick in it. It was what, like fifteen dollars a square foot. So I'm really liking this white that we do because it just feels like. Yeah. Clean, it's simple on your eye, so it's not any more busyness. Very durable. I came in last week on my own, and you know, we had went through some trials with this room, because I, and the, then I came and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do a mural. I, I had this like, this beautiful artwork that I had as a inspiration piece, but it turns out really cool on the stage, I put this really cute bike. All right, this is the most exciting room of the house right here. Just kidding, it's not. It's just the laundry room. This was originally way smaller. It was gonna be off of the dining room, but um, we decided to make it big, like an actual laundry room, off the mud room. I do like the barn door on this house. I do like too. the bigger hardware stuff. You got this at Amazon, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was a really good mm -hmm. buy. Master bedroom. It's just so clean in here. So good. And you know, I was a little worried about this space here. But it looks, I mean, it looks normal. Like it feels like you're entering into yes. your master suite. So the closet was a waterbed like surround, really. Mm -hmm. uh, we were walking through Restore, as I always do. <laughs> it's torture to me. And I found these really cool, which look mid century, retro looking, um, ugly, ugly handles. I mean, they're like these little little rounded weird handles. So I was like, oh, I can easily change those out and modern this thing up. The grass is coming back in. Like, what is that? The wickerish grasses type thing is coming back in. And it was just the right amount. Remember we measured it like exactly. three days. We measured it like three days before we installed it into the thing. And it was the exact measurement that we needed for the closet. So, you know, of course he fought me a little bit on it. He fought I, I don't him. fight you on it. Not like, huh, huh, like, but you're like, mm, no, I don't like this. No, I don't. We also found these, and these were white. And yeah. I had them spray them black. I think it's funny because it kind of looks like a moose. Like Rocky and Bullwinkle, that's what it reminds me of. It's his face, and this is his little mouth. Waterbed bookshelf. I think it's like a nightstand bookshelf, waterbed. I picture it like back in the day with like the wood rails all the way around, and you jump in and it's like, yes. I am Justin Jones and we are gonna bring the water bed back. <laughs> I love this bathroom. I did my typical um, subway in here, but I turned it just straight just to really modernize it um, because I went with the wood cabinet. I just wanted to really add this like mid-century vibe throughout the whole house. You know, I yeah. wanted it like a mid-century modern retro style. Over here is the bed. Queen size. <laughs> and then over here. A, it's a picture. <laughs> but I mean, she does such a good job. I These yeah. pillows, for instance, like I would have never put these two pillows together, but it works so well. And then she got some mustard. like Too many textures. She did the pops of color that I love to do. I can see the mustard in different areas, and I love that. Dining room. 
Actually, I actually love the ceiling. You did Me a fantastic too. job on it. I love it. The the trim carpenter fought me on. They're like, that looks stupid. The the actual painters were like, this is gonna look stupid. Mm -hmm. Every single person now is like, oh, I get it. This is gorgeous. All right, here is the third bedroom. Technically, they turned it into an office because COVID. Everyone is working from home or doing school from home, so we decided to stage an actual dedicated office. That way, it appeals to the buyers because that's our reality right now. And then this amazing bathroom. I did some really. I'm not going to go in because it was a tight fit originally. The sink was over here on the wall, which made it even tighter. Um, but I decided to inset the vanity here and do a really tall mirror. That way it bounces a lot of light off and it creates this really cool um, bright space in a really tiny area. Um, and then this bedroom is just a normal bedroom. It's, it's I think it used to be the master bedroom. Um, all we did was did another skim coat. We painted um, the doors, the doors that were originally there for the closet, you know, added the black hardware and um, she staged it as a, you know, Second that bedroom looks great. What was that noise? Like what the what? <laughs> so numbers on this house. It was originally a two one. We bought it for 185,000. We put about 72,000 in it. So quick math. Let's just go 260,000 and they're gonna be listing it for right around 370, 378 I think is what they said. And we're expecting a bidding war on this one too, mm -hmm. so tax tag, title, all that kind of stuff, probably gonna walk away with right around 90,000 on this one on a profit. Guys, thanks for watching Blue Hoss. I hope you liked it. Um, I want you to comment on what your favorite part of this house was. Is it the mural? Is it the crazy tile in the guest bathroom? Is it the floor tile in the master? Continue to watch, subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and share them with your friends. If you're just starting out in this business, I've been doing it for about 15 years now, and I would love to have watched a channel like this, gotten some inspiration from a professional designer like Stephanie. You can see the construction aspects of it that go into it. If you're looking for more education, this is a great channel for you. Put in your comments what you need help with, what you're looking for, what the questions that you might have, and we will engage with you and give you our professional advice. Thanks for watching. Comment what you want to see, and we'll see you next time.